welcome i actually had a whole like studio vlog plan to post this weekend but last second i decided that there's an idea that i really want to film that's just like stuck in my head and i'm gonna just film it because why not be spontaneous so we're gonna talk about some gift giving things for artists and it's like kind of geared towards last minute gift giving ideas so for example if you have like a friend that got you a gift and you're just like oh shoot i forgot to get them a gift and then i have to quickly come up with something to give to them back then this video is for you because that happens to me all the time i just i'm not particularly like a gift giving type of person to like a lot of people like i give gifts to like close friends like maybe like like a handful but my love language isn't really necessarily like gift giving it's more so of like quality time but i do like giving gifts to certain people so here are some things that you can like give to your loved ones that don't necessarily take a lot of money but like the idea of it just like feels more like warm and cozy than buying someone like a thousand dollar purse it's just like those type of gifts that's what i'm aiming for so the first type of gift is very good for people that already have a lot of plants in their home because the first gift, propagations. And I feel like propagations are just great because in a way, when you give it to someone, they understand that you spent time propagating this plant and then you're handing off your baby to them, like part of your baby and giving them the gift of life. I've always felt really good after giving someone propagation because a lot of people want to get into plants, but I feel like they're too scared to do so, especially when they're buying a, like a very expensive plant from um, like websites like The Sill or something like that. But I feel like the best gifts are just propagations. I've given so many propagations to my friends and they've honestly enjoyed it every single time. And I feel like the best way to give someone a propagation if you have extra jars are just jars that you collect from like things you buy. So for example, I bought this creamy tomato basil pasta sauce from Trader Joe's like when I first moved here and I am kind of a hoarder with jars because I know I'm gonna propagate something like later on in the future and it just so happens to have like a really cute design and I feel like as an artist I appreciate like that vintagey looking design and it just adds extra something to the propagation jar. I don't know, maybe my mom taught me that because she literally does the same thing. Like she cuts up pretty cardboard cereal boxes and like puts plants in them as decor. But something about that like vintagey vibe makes it look just so natural in a home. But I do know that some people don't really necessarily like the look of clutter or like reusing things. And in that case, you could just peel off the sticker and just get like a nice clear jar. It still looks cute and I don't know who doesn't appreciate plants. Like plants are great. And also propagations, you don't have to water them. They just like live in water. So if you have a friend that just can't take care of plants for their life, plants in water, great gift. So the next one is along the lines of gifting propagations. But I was thinking more so of like if you do buy a plant and you want to give it to someone but you think the nursery plant, like the plastic planter, is just too ugly why not go buy some of the ceramic planters at like Michael's or Home Depot for like $2 and make it pretty by painting on it so this one was from Gabriella one of you viewers gave me this and this is like my favorite pot and all this is is like a painted pot but because it's painted by her this makes the gifts feel so much more than just like gifting like a regular ceramic pot not that there's anything wrong with that but this just makes me feel like she took like that extra step and extra time to decorate this and i like appreciate this so much and if you don't like the look of the terracotta pots you can also go for one of these um but you can also go for one of like the more chic looking pots my friend Bathina actually gifted this to me and I painted on it to make it like more unique and more me and she was like 100% down with me painting it and now I just I love it but like I feel like anyone that receives like a painted pot with a plant in it also will cherish it forever 
So another gift idea that I have for you is just supporting small businesses. Like, I don't know if it's too late to order things online, but honestly, I feel like if people got their like, like Christmas or whatever present a little bit late, but knew that it was coming from like supporting a small business, I feel like they would be 100% like okay with having a late present. So stuff like this, I feel like would make people so happy. This was gifted to me by Amy Ceramics about, I want to say like almost a year ago. And I've cherished this planter so much. And no matter where I am in 20 years, I will still have this pot. I am insanely in love with this because this is handmade and it's like one of a kind. And anything handmade just feels so much more precious. And like, I just love it so much. And I don't even understand what this feeling is that I'm feeling. but. Yeah, handmade things are great. These are just clay earrings. I feel like a lot of people have been making clay earrings and these are honestly beautiful because they are also handmade. If you don't have time to order from like a small business, you can also make your own clay earrings. Just buy like the backings of the earrings, get some Sculpey that you can bake, and then you can paint them with like acrylic paint or acrylic wash. And you'll have cute earrings that you can give to your friends that they'll appreciate. Also another handmade idea would be like ceramic pins in case the person you're gifting the earrings to don't have like piercings or they don't like earrings, you can also make it into a pin that they can pin on their backpack or their shirt or their denim jacket and whatnot. The next gift idea that I have is thrifted goods but with a twist. I thrifted a lot of frames a while back and I'm thinking like the reason why I thrift so many frames is because I like that eclectic look where nothing matches and everything's just kind of unique and interesting. Like I know a lot of people like that minimalistic look where like they get four frames that are the exact same and like they're white and they're minimal and pretty. But if you're more into like that eclectic look, I feel like this would be a good option for you. I found all of my most interesting frames while I was thrifting. So all I did for this one was I taped off the corners and just painted it just to add that extra like color pop onto the image. And um, bonus points if you draw a little something and stick it in the frame and gift it to them like this. The painting in here was gifted to me by Knives Meow and I cherish this piece a lot and I just love how like original drawings look in a frame. It just looks very classy even though this is probably the least classy looking frame because I literally did a horrible painting job on this but I feel like all together this is such a cute last minute gift. But also if you're going thrifting thrift safely, put a mask on, bring hand sanitizer, and go in and get out. And for this frame, if you're not an artist, I think another thing that I really like doing is like adding stickers inside of the frame. Something about like the die cut shape of the sticker inside a frame just makes it look cool. Like you're essentially framing a piece of art that once was a sticker, but now it's a piece of art because it's in a frame. Um, this one's by Nini Wanted, by the way, and it's really cute. This is another like thrifted gift. Um, my friend actually just mailed this to me, and I thought this was like the coolest thing. Like, I had the idea of gifting thrifted goods for a while now, but I didn't really have the time to go back and thrift presents this year. So, I don't know, when my friend mailed this to me, it's just so unique and I've never seen anything like this. This is like supposed to be a watering can and a mister all in one. I don't know if I'm gonna use it as one, but as decoration, it's just beautiful. And it came in like this vintage looking box, so I really appreciate that gift and I feel like this type of gift from an estate sale makes me happier than getting like a brand new watering can just cause it's just so unique and it's like a timeless piece. Next idea would be pom-pom garlands because everyone loves pom-pom garlands and they're really easy to make. All you need to buy is like yarn and you can buy as many different colors as you like and they make like such a cute gift for people especially if they're trying to redecorate their homes or studios and there are a lot of easy tutorials on YouTube. I'll leave the one that I used in the description 
but these are just so cute and I don't know anyone that would say no to a pom-pom garland there's so much dust on this I took it off my wall so the next gift is more so just because I'm kind of proud of this project and I wanted to show it to you guys but cards like greeting cards a gift doesn't necessarily have to be like an item but it can just be some kind words wishing someone like happy holidays or you know checking in on how they are by mailing them a little like card or postcard or something i made this for the printer company hp and these are all free printables that are on their website i'll leave the link in the description but i designed seven cards for them so that you guys can enjoy them and download them print them send them to your loved ones let me show you which ones i have i have this one which is like a cookie decorating one i have this puppy deer guy card and it just says stay cozy i have this one that just says maybe if we stay here long enough we don't have to drink the eggnog and it's just two boys hiding in a snowman cookies taste best on christmas a sweater making one a new year's eve one and i have this really interesting like envelope looking one that just kind of opens like that if you have like a kid or something that really likes crafts or like making things i think they will enjoy making these so yeah that's another gift giving idea is just spreading warmth and joy through like sending little messages to people that you love so as an artist i really enjoy bringing a lot of my like art materials out with me whether i'm going to the park or whether i'm well when i used to go to cafes but whenever i would go out maybe to like a friend's house or like my boyfriend's house i would want to bring a lot of my art materials and i used to honestly only carry backpacks just because I thought purses didn't have like larger sizes I don't know I I didn't really understand how purses worked back then when I was a kid so I'm just like I'm never gonna wear a purse I'm gonna just be a backpack girl Angela Roy sent me this bag and they're like this vegan handbag company run by women I really love this bag because it's very masculine in a very feminine way if that makes sense I've always been the type of girl to prefer bags that looked a little less girly or like I feel like I was more into androgynous fashion because low-key because flat-chested and I just thought I looked better in androgynous fashion but I typically like like to go towards that more simplistic look and like I guess masculine look I really like this bag because of how thick this is I'm really into like that seat belt handbag strap look and I've never really seen this outside maybe that's just because i wasn't in the market for a new handbag but i love how comfortable it is because of how thick it is and my favorite part about this bag is like the details this red tag is just so cute and this is like i love little accents like this and their little emblem is right there too so if you know any like artists that are I don't know in need of a bag that can hold a lot i feel like angela roy has a lot of nice options and it's just really cute so check them out so those are all my ideas for like last minute gift giving ideas or just gift giving in general and i hope you liked the ideas and maybe took some of that in and i feel like for me personally the best gift giving ideas are usually the ones where you can feel like the other person has put thought into instead of just like putting money into gift giving doesn't necessarily always have to be about like how expensive the gift is or how big the gift is it could just be like a little piece of your heart knowing that you put the time and effort into creating something for them and making them feel loved so i hope you all have a good gift giving season and um let me know if you agree with any of my ideas like i don't know if it's just me but i would feel pretty happy with plants so happy happy gift giving and i'll see you in the next video bye